Hi there, I'm John Leach, and you're watching Arc Fishing. Look at that crappie, man. That's a nice crappie. <laughs> of Arc Fishing. I'm your host John Leach and we're going to continue the um, episode of modifying a Pelican Catch 130 HD kayak. And uh, good news is I finally found my variable speed Dremel. I knew I had one. It was up on my toolbox buried underneath all my straps. Why it was there I have no idea. But I like this one. It's the Craftsman and uh, I can change the speed on it which is really cool. Uh, much better one. <coughs> There we go. Let's make sure this still works. Make sure I didn't mess anything up. Works. 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 Okay, everything still works good. That's what I wanted to know. Get that out of the way. Alright, so here's a piece I ordered online. Um, I'm going to take this one out. I mean, we're just basically just going to relocate it. I still want to be able to use this one. Let's try to figure out how to do this. Okay. So I'll put this up here temporarily. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this. Got this off of Amazon, it's a Scotty mount. And the way this is supposed to work. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, really? That really just happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. Gotta be kidding me. Seriously. this is gonna work like it's supposed to I don't know I don't think this is gonna work something just seems odd about this let me see let me read the instructions they usually helps <laughs> this, those instructions are a freaking joke I don't think this is gonna work nope you got it First of all, let me see some. This is a freaking joke. I hate when stuff will come with a freaking proper instructions. This doesn't make any sense to me. This doesn't make any freaking sense. What am I doing wrong? Made in Canada. All right, what the heck am I freaking doing wrong here? Okay. So it's saying... Okay. I see how that goes. Just one problem. How do I freaking mount the other part? Now that's making a little more sense. Okay. We got this part right. But how am I supposed to freaking mount that? That don't go on a freaking Scotty mount. That's a Scotty mount. Yeah, this ain't very adaptable, is it? Alright. Oh, I see this goes inside. Okay, now I see what's going on. Now it's making a little more sense. I see what's going on. What you gotta do is it goes in here that's how this works let me guess that's freaking metric 
course it'd be fucking magic. And you can, it's gonna be freaking metric. Oh, it's a 13 millimeter. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere though. Okay, I don't want to over tighten it, it's plastic. Okay, now it's making more sense. Okay. So what we're gonna do actually, let's put these toolbacks first, I'm gonna use that one. I got an idea, let's put the tool. I want this one. Okay, now it's making more sense. Supposed to be screws, we're gonna use nuts and bolts instead. Oh, yeah, this will definitely do the trick. No, yeah, it'll work. So, why wouldn't? This already. Oh, no, no, I feel like size. Push us to right. Yeah, that's the right one. Why isn't it starting? There we go. Yeah, that's the right way. Let me try this the right way. This one backwards, don't I? This one backwards. No, I have that on the right way. Okay. I also make sure I have that on right. That's thing I'll do is install this thing backwards. Or if I should have it on the other way though. I don't know. I don't know if that really matters or not. It's a good question. I think that's gonna be my personal preference really. Too tight and crack the plastic. That would not be cool. There we go. Now, there we go. Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right. Now. Next, I need this. Jacket's plugged in back here somewhere, right? Oh, I gotta loosen this back up before I do that. Seriously. Okay, so make sure I'm plugging that in right. There's that. Plug in the trans. Let me get the transducer cable. Starting to like the way this is turning out. No, I'll leave that wire. Okay. 
here's the transducer. <laughs> this gets plugged in right here like this. All right, now we're getting somewhere. So it still needs to be clean. No thinking is. Yeah, I'm going outside look. So this is turning out. I was only starting to like this installation. Oh yeah, man, that is sweet. I'm loving it. Let's uh get this crap off of here. Sit on the seat, get a feel for it. Let's get this stuff out of here. I'm gonna clean up this garage again. I wanna see. foot's caught. Okay. All right. All right. I think I'm gonna... I think I want this back more. Maybe right there. There we go. Perfect. Oh, right there is perfect. Love it. Look at that. Oh, that's going to be a sweet setup, man. Sweet, sweet setup. That's spot on. Let's take this off for the moment. Put this back in here. I should have went in there by now. What the heck? I should have to make it that freaking loose for it to fit. What the heck's going on here? This doesn't make any sense. Okay. Actually, what I'm thinking is. Okay, I think that'll work. Oh man, what a sweet setup. I can't wait. Check that out. That is awesome. This is a Hummingbird Helix 5 with the GPS plot charter. And this is the Hummingbird Panoramic with down imaging. So that's going to be awesome. Oh, I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. This is going to be a sweet setup. Oh, I could put a fish. I have another fish one I could put it over here, right here. I have the Helix 5 with the down imaging. I technically have three fish finders there if I wanted to. I got what are done with these mounts. I need a rod base, rod holder base too, though. 
is, let's see if this will work. I probably should have used uh, special, yeah, you know what? That's not gonna work. I gotta do, you know what I need? I gotta change that drill a bit. Use one of those other special ones. I'm on the right track. Let me do something quick. I just realized something. That'll do the trick. That's what I'm hoping. About to find out, aren't we? I know this is risky and all, but beautiful. I should slide right back on now. Yeah, see the mud on it from when I dropped it in the leak? Thankfully, I was in shallow water. I had this foam on there at the time. There we go. Bingo. That ain't coming off. This. That's talking about my GoPro there. That's fantastic. All right. <laughs> what a sweet setup, man. Look at this. I have my GoPro here. This gives me a fish finder down imaging rod holder. This gives me a fish finder with GPS on it that is fantastic and then here's my control panel with all my toggle switches that is fantastic man this is gonna be one sweet setup oh I can't wait I'm getting so close all right so what I'm gonna do next I'm gonna install this stern pad you guys see it in here it's a stern pad so what you got to do you see the back side let me show it to you real quick So what I gotta do is I gotta clean this part of the kayak off the rubber and I call let it dry well and I'm gonna stick this fast. Just want to go that way. And now I think I have to let it sit for like 24 hours. And then what you do, you know, they give you alcohol. Oh, okay, all the part stuff came with it. It's fantastic. Alright. So what happens then I can mount my tramp seducer here without drilling any holes in the kayak. Because I ain't drilling a hole, especially in the hole like that. That's crazy. At any rate, so here's here's the deal. This is called a stern pad. So the way it works is, I have to sand the surface, clean with the water, and wipe alcohol down. Take this backing off, push it against, and hold it for 15 seconds. And now I gotta let it cure for 18 hours. I'm all just wait 24 hours. Once that's done, I can then mount this transducer mount to this pad here. Actually, it's gonna go this way. But what I'm gonna have to do which is risk of the cut. So I'm gonna have to cut here and here so it lines up down there perfectly because otherwise the edge is gonna stick out and it's gonna be useless. So it's a bit of a gamble, but I want to cut and trim some of this so it fits perfectly. And then once you do that, you don't drill any holes in this. What you do is you take a screwdriver and you hit the screws and you push real hard and you screw it fast in this, it works. I had it on my 18 foot Ranger Bass boat and it worked fantastic. I ain't want them drilling any holes in the hole of this kayak. That's crazy, especially back there. I'm just, we're getting on there, and nah, I ain't doing that. So, let me go up front here, trace this, and then, uh, actually, let me go get the this pencil and the, um, all right, so if you take notice, I trimmed the line here and here. I'm gonna cut there and there and it should make it perfect to mount that piece back there. Nothing's warm. What's up with that? Maybe I'll just freaking hook it to this anyways. I'd really rather have, it, rather have it a separate battery. The other thing I could do, and what I'm leaning towards, is putting it up here. Maybe what I do is eliminate this box. That's part of the problem. I think what I'm gonna do, eliminate that box, or maybe find a different box, and put that up there. Yeah, but I'm gonna put the wire in there though. 
I don't know if that's necessarily going to work. Styrofoam. Oh man. Just cleaned everything too. What are we going to do? I really like to put this in something waterproof. Okay, I was going to put it in there. Just one dilemma. I don't always get wires in there. Alright, so what I'm going to do next. I have these from a, my boat or left, another kayak. I didn't buy them for these kayaks, but I'm going to install. I'm going to put this one here. And then I think I'm going to put, let me, I'll put that one there. Let me uh, do something here quick. There we go. I'm going to put that one there. Alright, that's trash. I gotta do some measurements. I gotta make sure this is centered. So let me do that first. Exactly perfect, but it'll do the trick. There we go. Now should be long enough. There we go. I think I got it. There we go. Definitely got it now. There we go. Now I'm confident it's tight enough. All right. All right. This project is so close to being done. All I gotta do is mount the transducer for my Humber Helix 5 with the GPS. So I have to wait 24 hours. So anyway, let me go over the kayak and show all the stuff I got done. I'm going to start in the front. But check out the lighting. This, this is so cool. So I have a way this turned out. So up front, you'll see I have both the red and the green navigation lights hooked up and ready to go. And then I have the front orange LED lights right here. I got the front square hatch. The round hatch, I installed both of those. are aftermarket. I have my lighted compass right here. And I have another orange LED light right here. I have another one over there and then there's my control panel and there's my one of my GoPro mounts so I'm gonna put my GoPro there and then I have Hummingbird Prana Max fish finder right there with down imaging and then over here I have my Hummingbird Helix 5 with GPS plot charter on it and then I have a rod holder there for trolling and there's Another hatch I installed, that's aftermarket. And I'll show you something else cool I did. Um, I don't know if you can see up in there. I might have to open this hatch here. I should probably turn the lights back on. But I have a separate battery in here. You probably can't see it. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. But uh, this, this, this Hollenberg Pier Max is hooked the battery in the front. And this Hummingbird Helix 5 is like the battery in the back on two separate batteries. I didn't want them on the same battery in case something goes wrong or like something with a battery goes dead or something was affected one of the fish finder. I still have a backup fish finder. This, here we go. This is so cool. This is such a sweet setup. All I gotta do is mount the transducer tomorrow and this is ready to go back in the water. I put a lot of work and time and money in this thing. Well worth it though. I can't wait to get back in the water with this. There we go. I'm loving the two fish finders too. That's fantastic. I wanted to fish here that. 